All right, so now I just got done watching the most hysterical part of this entire series of Real Housewives of New York is when uh, the camel takes Luann for a little bit of a ride that she wasn't expecting. And it starts bucking all over the place and nearly bucks her off of the camel. <laughs> and uh, it was really, really, that was a good... Good part. I mean, I wouldn't have liked it, obviously, if I was on the camera. I mean, you know, not fun. I can totally understand where she's coming from, but seriously, um, it was, you know, you gotta admit, some things are funny when they're not happening to you. <laughs> um, so I'm just doing my thing with the marker. This is part of my lamb here. I don't, that, it's a lamb I haven't even made before, so I'm just kind of like winging it as I go along. And, um, I'm still working here on my my snowman and I will show you the scarves. Alright, so I just got done watching them do an entire argue session at this outdoor mall that they were shopping at. Um uh, about saving Luann the seat. And uh, I think that it is just freaking hysterical that uh you know, it's they made such a big to do out of saving this seat for this girl, for this woman, uh, the countess. You know, I, I just didn't see, you know, adults doing this kind of thing. It's just so strange to me. I just I just can't deal with watching them go through this arguing. I mean, did you tell her to save her a seat? Did you say? Did she have? I mean, this was like 30 minutes at the outdoor mall about saving the seat and how they all should act like grown-ups and treat each other with respect and all this other crazy mumbo-jumbo. And I'm like, wow. I mean, you know, we don't even go through that in high school. Is this what these people do? These accomplished, successful women of New York I mean, I got a lot of relatives in New York, and I don't know any of them that, that act like that. This one happens to have a darker brown in it, so I'm just going to dip my brush in there. And add a little bit of water to it so I can make it... Because we're just going to make, you know, we're going to make we're gonna make the arms of the snowman. And this one's going to have to be top of the scarf because I didn't do it different. I'm not sure that is. And again, we're just going to we'll just put it between So this is a really funny show. I mean, if you haven't watched The Real Housewives of New York and you want a good laugh, I mean, these women are just so whack that I find it hysterically funny watching them go through this stuff that they go through on this show. Okay, let's do um, Okay, let's do a little bit of a lamb head here. I haven't done this lamb yet before, so I'm just going to do the oval, the oval head like I normally do. A little bit more exaggerated. And we're just gonna do it just like we did it. We do it on the on the homes, except in a, in a bigger fashion, just like on the eggs. I mean, and we'll just two little legs sticking out. Basically, that's the lamb. I mean, the lambs are really that simple. And I'm just doing this. I'm making this up as I go. You know, I have not done one of these lambs before. On these tags, I did a different kind. I did one with a stencil, which was too much like work. And like I said, when it comes to primitive painting, it's really not that difficult. You're just making something that looks like a head, which I call an oval, a little kick out, which needed to be watered down that I didn't do, for an ear and a couple of chunky feet. And... Uh, that's it, you know, the lambs are pretty much as done as they're going to get. Now, here's Santa, okay, so we know Santa needs a belt, right? 
First, we're going to give him a couple of feet down here, which I just make two circles for his feet. And I just kind of make a round thing for his belt. And then, you know, I'll raise it up, make a little square there for his belt. And a couple of his arms, which are going to come down like that. Everything else above there is going to be pretty much white, you know, for his head and the hat and all of that. And hopefully you can see this from where the angle that I have you at. Um, let me see if I can get a different Sharpie marker out of here. This one's running out of steam. Like I said, I got a bunch of packets of Sharpie markers so that I don't have any that run out of steam. And uh, we're going to make those. Well, this snowman is pretty much done, so I'm just going to do my little crosses and my little dashes. Sonia, that's her name. I just now remembered her name, that friend of Ramona's who's really pretty wacky. I mean, seriously, I think these girls are out of their minds, but I could probably easily hang with them because <laughs> I'm pretty much just as crazy, although I wouldn't be going to Morocco riding camels. But I think that uh, especially the Countess, she cracks me up. I really think she's a funny lady. And I could definitely, uh, I could definitely hang with some of these ladies. I do like Jill. She's a little bit crazy, but I, I, I you know, they're all that way. They're all that way on the Real Housewives, and you know, and to be, to actually know that what they're doing on these shows is like real life, kind of makes me feel good about my own. To be honest with you, <laughs> you know, and that's why I say, you know, people are rich in many other ways. It's not just monetarily. Just making my little thing. I, oh, I love when they get to the tent and 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 they all want to talk at once and, and say stuff that's meaningless. And so one person holds something in their hand and says, you can't talk unless you have this in your hand. So Sonia comes over and grabs it and says, okay, this is what I want to say. <laughs> so, uh, you know, instead of waiting until that person who, who made up the idea of having the thing in her hand before you could talk, she just grabs it and she figures, oh, you have to grab it if you want to talk. So now everybody's grabbing at the thing. So now Cindy is freaking out about being disrespected again. And she's outside the tent talking to the other lady. And now it's another 30-minute ordeal about why is Cindy so off her rocker now? Why is Cindy acting so crazy? And really, Cindy's probably about the only sane one in this television show that they put on. Because she goes outside and nobody's respecting each other, you know. The thing was supposed to be so if you're holding it, you can talk. And Alex, oh my God, that poor woman, if she only had a brain. I mean, seriously. You know, they asked her, what was your most favorite thing about Morocco? And she goes into this long, drawn out thing about how life away from her children and the first time being away from her husband and how it has affected her life and even they get aggravated and they were like hey you know all we wanted to know was what was your favorite thing in morocco and then she brings up something like the outdoor mall or something i don't know what they were like thank you that's all we wanted was like a one word answer but alex is just she's too deep and when she tries to get angry she breaks out into hives when she tries to have confrontation which is her new thing. I'm going to confront the world on everybody's problems. Um, she breaks out in hives, and uh, she's, it's just ridiculous. You know, how far am I into this now? Talk in nine minutes. All right, we're going to go to a part three so that we can, we can finish up our Santa and the rest of these tags, and we'll be back. <laughs>